The solar flash is imminent, highest council of light through Penny Moore, May 21, 2021 into the light.news. 8 to 10 minutes. Greetings to all light beings on planet Earth. We come forward at a critical juncture, at this time, on your planet. We come bearing wonderful news and excitement for humanity. You have been waiting so long, eons of time in fact, for your planet and human consciousness to reach a certain frequency, if you will. May we say that time is upon you. We too have been waiting, observing, and helping out when universal law permits, to assist humanity and your planet to raise consciousness. Remember, your planet, just as you are, is a conscious being. All of creation is divinely orchestrated. And of course all of creation is connected. Nothing is separate. You only hold the illusion of separateness. Humanity must ultimately embrace this knowing now, especially when humanity and the planet are about to cross over the threshold, so to speak, from the old paradigms, to be catapulted into the new. Disclosure is coming. So, what has to happen at this critical time? There are a number of probabilities that can occur moving forward from the time of this transmission. To begin with, major disclosure will be revealed to the citizens of Earth as to involvement with non-terrestrials and the secrets kept from society, as to their existence. This has been hidden for a very long time. The reveal may be a step ahead of the DS, dark entities to beat them at their own game of staging an alien invasion. Non-terrestrials go back to the seeding of this planet. Deals and treaties have been signed so often between your governing bodies and non-terrestrials, primarily the reptilians or draconian species. Benevolent non-terrestrials were sent to help with some semblance of balance, but governments dealt mainly with the draconians, the solipsari, small greys, the matra, tall greys, and the chikar to name a few species. These were all very malevolent beings who wanted control over humanity and the planet's resources. You will also hear more about Area 51 and other bases for non-terrestrials throughout the world. As time went on more and more control was had by these beings. It had reached a tipping point and since then the Alliance and all those light beings have been at work righting the wrongs of the malevolent non-terrestrials, along with the deep state. Most all governments have been corrupted and infiltrated by the deep state. We could go on and on explaining who has been involved in the enslavement of your planet but this transmission is not about the control and enslavement of the citizens of Earth. Moving forward with what is to come. First, as we said, disclosure will begin to be revealed to humanity. Aside from the existence of non-terrestrials, Another probability that may be revealed is the ongoing human trafficking around the world, which include abductions of citizens, primarily children and women, but men as well. The atrocities these people have gone through are immense. All for the enhancement and rituals of dark beings on this planet. Some of these abductions are by malevolent non-terrestrials to be used as experimental research, for sex to propagate their species, and slaves. The events of the confiscations from the ships going through the Suez Canal is a starting point which will lead to this type of disclosure. A third probability is a massive disclosure of the November 2020 election fraud, revealing the countries involved, the voting machines used, and how they were calibrated, along with the illegal votes created to manipulate the final results. Events and situations will play out in order for more and more people to awaken as to what atrocities, disinformation, manipulation, enslavement, and such that have been playing out on your planet. A critical point will be reached where there will be much chaos, confusion, anger, and heightened emotions, that situations will escalate. Before there is too much damage the military, the Galactic Federation of Worlds, and alliances will step in to assist. This juncture is where the solar flash will come in. 
Before the solar flash comes in from the galactic sun some people will be taken off planet and worked with so they can handle the new frequencies coming onto earth. Some star seeds and light workers will remain behind to help those left on earth to acclimate to the higher frequencies. This solar flash, as we advised, will not only raise humanities and the earth's frequencies, but will herald in the new earth, as well. Star seeds and light workers will be needed. Star seeds and light workers, like this channel, have been preparing for these changes for years now. For this channel she retained a lot of knowledge coming into this incarnation. She knew as a little girl that society was not as it should be. It all totally confused her. Too much was hidden as to truth. Everything seemed upside down and backwards to her. There was too much unkindness, deceit, greed, and avarice. She also felt she really did not know the family she was born into. They were like strangers to her. She only knew her true galactic family. Like so many others like her, she began to accept what was, but as she grew and evolved she realized the truth of what life on earth should be like. Thus, she began her ascension journey. She was like a racehorse out of the starting gate. Nothing could stop her. She thirsted for so much more knowledge and truth. This is the case with so many star seeds and light workers. You all struggled to try and fit into a dysfunctional society, run by control and greed. This is why for so long on your planet, education, accumulation of money and status were rewarded and applauded. When this channel retired, she then had much more time to just be and experience life at a much slower pace, taking time for herself, and further healing on all levels of her being. There was more time to meditate and be out in nature communing with the flora and fauna in her area. With the recent events of the last year and a half she has isolated herself more and more to assist in furthering her own healing, raising her frequency, and most importantly to prepare for what is to come. Right now it is a rest period, so to speak, to rejuvenate and recalibrate to be ready to assist humanity. Star seeds, light workers, and others will be needed to assist and console people who go into shock as more and more disclosure is revealed, and ultimately the effects of the solar flash. People will handle this great influx of light in different ways. So, the star seeds and light workers will be at the helm to comfort, console, and continue to help heal your brothers and sisters. So much love, understanding, and compassion will be needed from all of humanity. May we say, it will not be long now for the shift to occur. You will be assisting in tearing down the old. This includes systems, buildings, and infrastructure to make way for the new. Building will be on proper grid lines, not placed willy-nilly as they are presently, and in the past. Universal laws and knowledge will be used in rebuilding cities on precise grid lines. This all will be made possible because of the correct knowledge and truth that will be brought forward, along with incredible technologies that have been hidden by your governments. All will be recreated for the benefit of not only mankind and society but the earth, as well. You see, all must be in resonance and balance to assist further growth and ascension for all. We could go on and on, but we think you get the gist of where we are going with this transmission. Our message is one of hope and reassurance that all is moving into a higher resonance to where it should be, to lay out the plans as to what is to come for the new earth to unfold. There is no need to worry about what is coming. Be excited and thrilled with the anticipation of a higher vibrational earth, imbued with so much love and light. Know that when the solar flash occurs movement into the new will begin in earnest. Your role right now is to be at peace. Keep your vibration hot. Do what gives you joy. Know that all is as it should be, at any given time.